Well, howdy. Here is a raspberry pie pad that I made the other day. I'd very much like to show you a few details about this and perhaps upgrade the software on it. Uh, it's been a little while since I've used it. So, um, keep watching. All right, ladies and gents, here she is, the marvelous pie pad. Um, so, on the side here is, uh, whoops, a little uh, entrance for the power switch. I can hit the power switch, do, do, do. I just gotta find it, where is it? There it is. Power switch inside is uh, some fantastic uh, circuitry to take care of the battery, some battery management stuff. Uh, on the top we've got a couple of USB ports, just the two. Normally pies come with a four stack. And uh, what I did in this case, um, I went ahead and uh, uh, removed the four stack and replaced it with uh, just the two. On the side, a headphone socket. And as you can see, this bad boy is a booting up. Whoops, I've put fingerprints all over it and please excuse the fact, excuse the fact that I'm going single-handedly at the moment. But as you can see, um, what we have here is a Raspberry Pi pad. Whoops, there you can see me, cool. And um, you can press, it's all touch screen. Maybe you'd be interested to see what's on the inside. So um, what we have on this bad boy are little magnets, uh, just uh, taking care of everything here, just making sure that the back stays on. We have a um, okay, I think that's an Element 14 touchscreen, and then uh, what we have over here is we have a modified Raspberry Pi, uh, that's a Mark II if I'm not mistaken, and then just here, whoops, just here, I've added a Wi-Fi module if I'm not mistaken, so I've stuck a Wi-Fi module on, and I've got that. Uh, connected up to one of the USB ports. Uh, the other two USB ports are showing outside, and I've got one USB port free. Uh, we could go ahead and put some uh, something on there, like a, another little uh, uh, memory stick or something along those lines. Uh, lots of hot glue in here, and then uh, over in this corner, uh, we have a battery management system. And 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 behind this large lump of uh, gaffer tape, duct tape, whatever you want to call it, is a, an iPad, an iPad mini battery. Um, and I actually um, did a little bit of dremeling work and dug a, a small hole inside this very thin piece of plywood and uh, managed to get that battery to fit in there. So when you close it up, everything closes up nicely. And boom, here we have it, one Pi Pad. So, um, let's go ahead, set the camera up, turn the lights off so you can see the screen, and uh, we will fire this bad boy up for you so you can see it go through its boot sequence. Okay, so we're just going ahead and firing up the Pi screen. And you can see it going through its boot sequence here. This might take a moment or two. I didn't do a very pleasant shutdown the last time around. So, um, it might do all kinds of um, disc checking and whatnot, but uh, anyway, bad boy's firing up, which is good news. I have no idea if it's still connecting to my network. Give it a few seconds, and we shall be on the desktop, uh, which is uh, awesome news. And uh, then uh, we'll find out if she still connects to my Wi-Fi network. Wow, and look at that. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff on here, so I can go to Google, um, yeah, and off we go to Google. Fantastic. This Pi Pad is really quite awesome. Uh, I think it does, yeah, I think it does do, um, uh, yeah, I don't know if it does multi-touch, I think it does single touch. Uh, actually, and if you click on here, I believe there's an option to bring up a keyboard as well. Ah, uh, no, that's right, yeah, you had to run the keyboard manually. Um, I believe, oh my goodness, it's been a while since I've used this thing. 
Um, de, 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 I believe it's in accessories. Yes, there it is. Keyboard. Boom. Now I've got a keyboard. So, uh, oh, this is just going to be a real pain in the butt. But there we go. You can type stuff in on Google. Cool. Raspberry Pi pad. Yeah, we can make little bunny things and whatever. Okay.